everybody, thanks for tuning into today's video. Well, it's Monday on GazWeatherBiz.com. That can mean only one thing. Yes, it is Europe Day. Every Monday on GazWeatherBiz.com, I have a look at the weather for the week ahead across the European continent. Now, before I get on with the video, I just want to explain a couple of things. I want to explain where the, where, where the charts are coming from. The website is wetcentral.de, a fantastic German site. Uh, you can find that on my uh, links page. Just click on the links tab at the top of the page. You'll go through to the links page. Uh, find the link for Web Central uh, on the links page. You can click on that and go through to website. Also want to explain uh, about the advertising. There will usually be a video ad overlaying my web videos at gazweathervids.com. Do please play those video ads. You will be supporting gazweathervids.com by doing that. So we'll get on with the video and this is the situation for today, Monday the 24th of September uh, 2012 and the main uh, point, in, point of interest for uh, today is this very, very deep storm that's sitting across the British Isles, 985 millibar area of low pressure slap bang over the top of the UK. Uh, we've got this strong easterly wind wrapped around that low pressure for much of Scotland and parts of Northern England, a very strong uh, westerly wind blowing through southern counties and into uh, many uh, central and northern parts of France. So we've got some gales from the west uh, through uh, southern England and northern France. We've got gales from the east across Scotland and coming into towards uh, Denmark and maybe even some parts of uh, northern Germany and the Low Countries as well. So a really uh, intense autumnal storm there across the northwest of Europe. We've also got this area of low pressure up to the northeast, and pressure is generally weakening now uh, through the Mediterranean. We haven't got the high pressure that we've had through the Mediterranean over the last few weeks and months. These are the upper air temperatures. We've got some quite warm air uh, being associated with this area of low pressure, but it's on the uh, eastern side of the low pressure, uh, so it's really going through central parts of Europe, uh, that warm air being brought up from the tropical Atlantic. This uh, low pressure spawned off uh, the remains of Hurricane Dedean. Uh, so that warm air is going through on the eastern side of that low pressure, up through uh, central parts of Europe. It's still a very warm, hot scene through much of the Mediterranean, very cool up in the north though, autumn has arrived to Scandinavia and to Western Russia as well and it's really quite cool indeed across much of the British Isles, Ireland and into uh, France as well. Temperatures uh, in the upper atmosphere are on the cool side. Precipitation, well there's the uh, very heavy rain that's going on across the British Isles uh, today, really wet day, uh, it was very wet yesterday, it's very wet again today. And that precipitation extends into much of northern France, the Low Countries, uh, up in towards uh, northern and eastern parts of the Germany, northern and western parts of Germany, I should say, up into uh, Denmark as well. And then going down in towards those uh, uh, eastern parts of France and uh, through into northern Italy, parts of Switzerland, uh, uh, the Alpine regions at least, having some very heavy uh, thundery showers. We've also got that area of precipitation up to the northeast, uh, around Finland and Latvia and Estonia and through in towards uh, western parts of Russia as well. But it's not too bad across Scandinavia, some fairly dry weather, and these eastern areas having a lot of dry weather as well, and it's quite dry uh, through the Mediterranean, although some showers could be uh, sparking off. Now, temperatures today, very cool up in the northwest, temperatures across parts of Scotland, maybe not getting into double figures today. Uh, much of the British Isles is caused by the southeast, just seeing temperatures lifting up towards the seas and average, but it's really quite a cool scene for Britain, Ireland, and down in towards uh, much of France as well. But what is going through the central parts of Europe, uh, temperatures up to the low to mid 20s through parts of Germany and uh, Poland, for example. But uh, that's offset by the fact we've got that heavy rain or heavy showers uh, breaking out on the eastern side of that low pressure. Also a very windy scene, remember, through much of uh, northern France, southern England, and again through uh, Scotland and parts of Denmark and northern Germany as well. And it's very cool around Denmark, and it's very cool up in towards Scandinavia. You can't see this, but it is cool through uh, Scandinavia. And in terms of the Mediterranean, well, it's very warm, as you should expect, but it's quite cool, really, uh, for much of northern Spain. Now as we get through towards the middle of the week, that low pressure is still sitting there right over the top of the British Isles, so that's really driving the pattern for uh, the northwestern part of Europe. We're bringing up southerly winds through the central and east, there's a southerly drift of air out of the Mediterranean, so it'll be quite warm I think in southern 
and uh, central and eastern parts of the continent but it's much cooler in the west and in the northwest and it's quite a cool scene still uh, for much of Scandinavia as well so have a look at the upper air temperatures well it's very cool in the west uh, Ireland, Britain, uh, France even down into Spain and Portugal uh, temperatures in the upper, upper atmosphere will be below average but warmth is going through on the uh, central and eastern uh, part of the continent on the eastern side of this area of low pressure really so we're taking the warmth up with the southerly winds through central parts of Europe although once we get through to the north uh, there it is quite cool for precipitation for the middle of the week, well, it's still a very unsettled scene in the west and the northwest. So we've got uh, heavy rain here around the British Isles still. Heavy rain from many southern central parts of Scandinavia down towards Denmark. Uh, Again, western parts of Germany having uh, a lot of uh, showers and that extends down towards the bulk of France, a lot of rain from France. And yes, we have got some quite heavy rain then extending down even into central southern parts of Spain if this uh, forecast is rising through into uh, Portugal as well. So that's quite an unusual uh, scene really to have uh, that kind of extensive rain going right way down into southern parts of uh, Spain. And then that, if you follow that precipitation back, interestingly, that goes right way back into the Atlantic and that big vibrant purple area there is the actual remains of Hurricane Nadine so uh, this precipitation does go all the way back to that so yes even by the middle of the week the uh, Hurricane Nadine is there having the influence and the low pressure that's in the northwest of Europe uh, does connect back still to that uh, tropical feature in the Atlantic but for many eastern parts of the continent, it's a dry scene, uh, very dry through eastern parts of Germany, much of Poland, down into the southeast, lots of dry weather, uh, dry through southern Italy, and some of these northeastern uh, countries are uh, largely dry as well. Temperatures, it's an east-west split, the west is very cool, so Ireland, Britain, France, down into towards Spain and Portugal will be very cool and unsettled. Uh, central parts of Germany really marking the boundary between the cool weather uh, to the west and be much warmer weather uh, to the east. So once we get through to these eastern and southeastern nations, uh, there we see temperatures lifting up towards the mid to upper 20s, maybe as high as uh, 32 degrees, perhaps still around parts of Greece and Turkey, 32 is 90 Fahrenheit. Now, as we, once we get through towards the end of the week and the weekend, we're starting to find the pattern becoming a little more normal, really. High pressure is beginning to ridge in uh, from the Atlantic in towards uh, the west. We're beginning to push the, back, the jet stream a little bit further north, taking low pressure back in towards Scandinavia. So this is perhaps more of a uh, normal type pattern that you would expect to see at uh, this time of the year. Still very warm or hot upper air in the east and particularly into the southeast. Uh, still quite cool for much of the west and the north and northwest of the continent as well. So again, it's really an east, uh, a west east split in terms of those temperatures. It's drying out in the west uh, by the end of the week and into the weekend because we're getting that ridge of high pressure uh, trying to build in off the Atlantic. So yes, the precipitation is easing off by the weekend. But still for these central areas, we've got some heavy rain and thunderstorms. Uh, and that, as I say, is marking the boundary still between that cool air uh, to the west and the much warmer air uh, to the east. In terms of temperatures, well, that east-west split is still in evidence, very warm or hot in many of these eastern and southeast nations, uh, very cool and autumnal still. Despite the pressure building in off the Atlantic, it's still cool and autumnal for many central and western parts of the continent by uh, the weekend. So, summer hangs on through parts of the Mediterranean and in the east, but really central and western areas, uh, autumn has properly set in, and northern parts of uh, the continent autumn has set in now, and it's a very unsettled autumnal scene for many central and western parts of the continent this week. Uh, summer hangs on still in the east. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.